Hey all, it's Paige here. In this video, I'm going to show you how we go about creating one of these um, rotating testimonial sliders with these arrows to the left and right. So if you are um, watching this on YouTube, just know that there is a blog post which goes a little bit into which Squarespace templates this works on and a bit more details about sort of like the pros and cons of this method. Um, if you're watching this on the blog, then you already know that. So. Um, let's get into the step-by-step -step process of how you actually go about creating something like this. So I'm going to head to, um, I have created an example page um, with two sections to the index. What I want to do is I want to put my rotating testimonials right in between these two sections um, of a blue background. So um, for my testimonial slider, I want it to be white in the background. So the first thing I need to do is actually go and create a white background. So first I'm gonna go to Canva. You can also definitely do this in Adobe InDesign, um, but yeah, I'll show you how to do it in Canva. Um, the first thing we wanna do is create a new canvas. For this canvas, I'm gonna do 2000 by 1500 pixels and hit design. To be honest, the size of it really doesn't matter. Um, yeah, because it's just white background, it's not actually a really big deal. So I'm gonna go to elements and select a shape and then I'm gonna go take this square, turn it into a triangle, or sorry, a rectangle. Um, pull it down there like so. And then I'm gonna change the color from black to white and that's all I have to do. I'm just gonna download it now. I'm gonna actually take a JPEG, hit download. Okay, so that has created my white image, which is actually going to be the background of my um, rotating testimonials. So I'm gonna go into my Squarespace site now, minimize this. So again, what you'll need is you'll need an index page with some sections to it. Um, and then we're going to add our section, which we're going to use the gallery, um, the gallery type. Um, so add your gallery. And then we need to add our images. So now our images is actually just this white rectangle. Um, that's the background of our slider. Add that, we'll do it three times. Then to actually get the text to go on top of the, um, uh, the white background. We are going to go to the gear icon, it opens up the settings, and then in the title area, that's where you want to write the text, the testimonial text that someone has said. So these are some really kind and sweet words someone said about my business. Okay, I'm gonna copy that. And then I'm also gonna put down here the name of person who said whatever that thing was. So I'm going to hit save. I'm going to do the same thing for the other two. So hit the gear icon to open up the settings. In the title area you type in the text that the person said and then here you write in like Sally Smith, the name of the person who said it. Same for this one. Being kind words go right in this spot. Jessica Smith. Save. Okay, now I go back to pages. Then you'll notice my gallery added, added to the bottom of all my index sections. I want to drag that in between the other two pages. That's going to refresh and rearrange those for me. Like open you up and sh show you what that looks like. So I have my first section, I have my gallery area with my rotating quotes. Um, and then my next section. Now, if you have added this all to your website and it doesn't look anything like this, um, I will walk you through exactly why that is and how we can fix it. So um, this is, again, a gallery page in an index. Um, and depending on your template, um, the styling of the gallery might be different by default in your template. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that to make it look like this if it doesn't already. So go back to home and then to design. And then you open up your style editor. So again, I think there's four different layouts, specifically in the Brine template family, there's four different possible gallery sort of like styles and layouts that you can have. Um, so the one, 
there's, yeah, the one that we're going to be using is the slideshow. because This looks like a slideshow, being able to click through the different options. Um, so if it's not already set to a slideshow, then we definitely need to set it that way. So um, you can look through this whole list of options here. Um, the faster way I find to do things is just to click on the section that you want to edit, and then it'll open it up all of the related options in the style editor. So first and most important thing is that the index gallery layout is set to a slideshow. If you have it like grid or something else, it'll look quite different. So slideshow is the most important setting. Um, spacing is fully up to you. You can just play around with these to see what sort of like looks good to you. You can have space on the top and the bottom or on the sides. Um, that is up to you. Um, let's see, it's not super important. The, um, the arrows that are happening to the left and right, those are controlled here under index slideshow gallery. So next previous controls, I have large arrows. You can also do smaller arrows. You can set the offset, like how far away those are from your content. Um, let's see light, I can also do heavier. Maybe hairline might be fun. I like hairline, I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, you can set the color, it doesn't need to be black, you can set it to be whatever color you would like. Um, you can either play around just by clicking and dragging in your color wheel, or you can type in a hex code down here, that's a six digit number that defines a specific color. Um, good with all that, yep. Um, if you want it to automatically transition, um, these bits right here, autoplay, that's the settings you want to play with. Um, to see how long exactly you want it until it's um, switched over to the next one. Okay, go for maybe like two seconds. Um, now let's see. Gallery content, um, that is just controlling the, um, say like the text and how far that is away from the, diff the sides. Um, sort of like your content, I guess you could say. So yeah, content padding. Um, but yeah, and yeah, the you can also play with the fonts here. Um, so I've set these fonts to match my brand, um, but if you had fonts that you were using throughout the rest of your website, then it would definitely be good to continue using those same fonts here. Um, for the title, the title again is the um, testimonial bit, and then the body font, that is the name of the person who said that thing. So yeah, that is everything that you need to know to go about creating this for yourself. Um, so I'm excited to see what you create with it. Leave me a link to your website in the comments. I would love to see um, this in action on your website. And again, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, I'm going to give you a link, which will take you over to the blog post, which walks you through a few other important details that you need to know um, about this and sort of like templates um, to make sure that this can work on your Squarespace site. So yeah, I hope that was helpful.